Hey there. In this video, we're going to install a color pick eyedropper extension, a color picker extension, and then we're going to do some color picking and color this uh, awesome shape that I've made based on this in an Okuda style. So let's rock and roll. First of all, on this slide, which is slide six right now of this presentation, this is a link to color pick eyedropper. And you can click it, it'll take you to the Chrome Web Store where we have these extensions. I have it installed, but you will just click on install right there, and then you will see color pick eyedropper up in your browser bar right up there. It looks like a little color wheel. Okay, once you are there, you have that installed. Make sure you pause this, you know, do that, come on back. We're gonna use it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these colors and we're gonna paint these shapes right here. It's kind of hard to see because I, I have them right up against each other, but I have the same number of shapes that I tried to, to draw and uh, you're gonna be copying them, so there you go. So we're gonna go up to the extension, click on the color pick eyedropper. Oh, there we go. And gonna click on that color, control C to copy and escape to get out of it. Click on the same shape, click on paint can, plus for a new custom color, control V, Enter. A lot of steps. That's why I'm going to do it at least twice. I'll probably just keep doing it until you get it. Okay, so again, hit the color picker. I'm going to my next shape. Clicking, Control C to copy, Escape to get out of it. Click the shape, click the paint can, plus for the color, Control V. Now, now with this, you notice that I wasn't that precise. There is a line. So what you might want to do for some of the shapes and art later on is go to your border color, the pencil, and make that the same color. And you can even increase the thickness and kind of get rid of those shapes in between. Oh, ha, the shape, actually it's on the other shape. Oh, that's why it's got a gray border. Ah, my mistake, but that's okay. I could also do this. Boop. There, right? Yeah, I could even reduce this one. He was on the wrong shape. Aha! There we go. So if you make the border the same color as the inside, it'll uh, it'll help. And you can always look here. It'll show you which color it is if you don't remember, if you get lost with your colors. One more time, color picker. Click, control C, escape, click, Paint can, custom color, control V. And yeah, we can do that whole thing again with the border. Awesome. I wanted to leave that border like that just so you learn how to do that because when you're drawing, you might find those spaces and you can see how it looks so much better when there isn't that, that line in between. So having the border the same color as your interior is the easiest, best, most solid way to do that. Good luck with the color picker. Have fun. It's awesome. Isn't it fun? It's great. Okay.